Hello, hello, this is Steve D of the YYT. It's the end of another Locals at the wonderful West End Games in Glasgow, and that means it's time for some friendlies. So, uh, yeah, pl playing some spicier decks. I don't know, I don't know. It was, it was an interesting Locals, and I was playing a kind of weird deck for Locals today, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's time to get experimental. How are you doing, James? Uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, locals was good fun, for sure. Uh, yeah, some interesting matches. I think uh, people are getting quite set for Wales coming up. And There's else. a lot to consider, yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's, it's a keep for me. It's a serious way. event, you know. It's, it's the most serious event we've had in literal years. And so I think that people really need to be evaluating, do I take a fun deck or a good deck? Yeah. And there is, a, there is an ever clearer line between fun and good, I think. Yes. Well, not that the good decks aren't fun in their own way, but I think that if you want to play... A seven color Moogle mishmash deck, you better make sure your Warriors of Light are in there. Yeah, yeah, well, that's it. You're not playing for a watch anymore, you're playing for Euros Day 2. So, you know, do you like more to run? You know, you can win a cool hat. What? No way. Sign <laughs> me up. Um, <laughs> um, keeping I this. guess I'll keep two. All right, good luck, have fun. Drop a turn. Well, I'll try my hardest. And yeah, da -da. we will go Sabin Dabin. For Saberai, do you want Samurai. to use some of my incredibly swag crystal tokens? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I will take this one. Ah, oh, amazing. Get the wind one. And pass there. Nice and easy. Draw some cards. Okay. Uh, Biblos for a knight, and I'll also have a crystal. Got still all my crystals. Yeah. You get poop. I need my babies. <laughs> uh, I got the the unusually smooth, textureless. <laughs> Very 1990s RPG crystal. Yeah. Uh, but just there. Is it still rendering? We don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Gobble Chan? Uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I love those goblins. I think they are insane. But I'm really surprised you found room for them in uh, Fire Ice? Fire Ice? Fire. So far, you haven't seen, you haven't seen any ice. I don't know there's any ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Rumours in the back streets suggest there are rice carts. Uh, Goblin Shant auto for Setzer. Setzer get back to the seven. Bounce these cards back and forth. What does it matter what you discard? It'll yeah. all just clamber back out the pit. And we'll go seven for more crystals. And pass there. Well, you got the, uh, the faceted crystal. <laughs> the crystal that could have been in the background of a George Michael music video. Uh, okay, okay. What do I do to end Goblin Shant? So you know what... Uh, Still one and I know there is a goblin in hand, yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, Kusa for another Geomancer. I see your two crystals and I raise you two ah, crystals. Ah, the economy. I get the broccoli crystal. And I also want to play Nagmalada. Yeah. And Nag is going to be at the expense of... Ugh, this is so weird. I acknowledge that Ceremobius is really quite good against aggressive decks, but I'm going to discard one and not be punished for it somehow, because I've got main character syndrome. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think that's smart to be fair. Like you could throw it out now, but the goblins would just... Yeah, it's a perfect target for it. I think so. Like When I know that you've got a million goblins there, and you can just do goblin, goblin, three, kill Ceremobius, is that still good for me? Like, you've paid three CP to kill my two CP? Mm, don't know. Yeah. No idea is this guy's verdict. Yeah. And that's all for me. Okie dokie. We've got the scale tools and so got a, a wee squam also. Oh, that's interesting. Ross will squam also. Let's go searching. Uh, just a few. Just for speed. Oh, search for two goblins. Okay, yeah. yeah. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. I'll pretend that one of those goblins had back attack. Yes. In response to the other goblin, I cast a goblin. <laughs> goblin rush. Who needs forwards when you just have all the goblins? And we will pass there. Four in hand. Four in hand, but they're all goblins. Hmm. Okay. This is an interesting one. Uh, I would like forwards, but apparently <laughs> not allowed. No. I, I think this is is too nice. If you would too, like. too nice. Not go on, go on. I'm, I'm feeling treat yourself saucy today, so I think we'll do that. Scale Toad and three for Rydia. Search for a summon and a Yuna, and I'll play the Yuna. Mm. Yep. Where are my Yunas? And so I have to search for a summon that's not water. I wonder. 
I was trying out Fenrir in here. I feel like if you don't try out new cards, you'll never learn. Yeah. Uh, th there's a lot of different card named Hecaton here that are speaking volumes to me just now. I think Hecaton's at three is in a very good space and five, yeah. Three, three and five, yeah. I, I mean, I see Fire Eyes FF6 cards. I see a lot of 8Ks. I think that having that Hec... You're, you're not going to make me discard four cards this turn. No. So, uh, I'd be impressed if I could. So would I. And I shall pass there, good sir. You are welcome to cut if you want. Uh, it is a mild problem that I don't have a slot for Unaliska here, but I don't know, I've got the skill toad, I've got certain, certain things I can do. It's a very friendly game, this, which I'm not liking. Usually I'm meant to be a bit more aggro, but the, well, the well, deck gods are saying deck god things. The, the deck gods are saying draw all your backups, play all your backups. And you will live in the pod, you will eat the bugs. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, I am an enjoyer of this card here. I'll just talk, talk to the camera while you're pondering your ponderings. Um, honestly, everything that this archetype got, I, I really like Ice Earth. I think that Ice Earth is amazing. But I feel like I put 35 cards in a deck and then I start putting in kind of bad cards or cards with dependencies. I think Mira Luminous Puma was a bit flash in the pan. I just don't really want to play Luminous Puma at all now that Realm exists. Yeah. It just I, says I, I, give your opponent a million CP. Yeah, the moment you, your opponent sees that, yeah. It's too, it's too much value. Two on five and five. What reactive beasts are you holding, I wonder? Hmm. Okay, okay. Maybe I hold open some air. Let's do... Yeah, I think both decks have a lot of goodies to come out, but we're just... Uh, Let's do the thing that scares you. Christopher, a random discard. Do you want me to roll for it? Do you want me to... Yeah. A bit, a bit of drama, you know? I, I take it no response, by the way. No, no response. No Amaterasu blindly this trigger. Uh, one, five, but I think I can kill. Re roll on six. Oh, six, you discard them all. One, okay. Uh, let's snipe a squall. Okay, I feel kind of good about that. This deck doesn't really appreciate haste all that much. Uh, Rydia and one for Lark target skill toad. And that, uh, you will get the uh, Slammer Tarasu. Uh, we'll discard Shan Total for objection. Oh, that, 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 is, uh, that is a very, very legitimate Amaterasu. Yeah, wow. Totes real. Yeah, ambitious crossover, I suppose. If you have another Archaic as in hand, then fair play, you've, you've baited one now out. Now that is one of the minor, minor upsides to playing pure Ice Earth over this deck to me, is you've got room for extra Archaic just because you're running out of good cards otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think with that I just pass there. Understandable. See what happens. Hmm. There's no denying that Archaic is like, if you reanimate a skill to it, it's just, it's just free. Free guy that also changes the rules of the game for your opponent. Lock. One, two, or and three. It's a classic. It is a bit. It is a bit. And you've got a goblin even to give him haste. Ugh. Or interceptor. Interceptor and a discard. I feel like you get more out of playing the goblin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, what do I want to discard? That is... That's what we do, but I was just like... Uh, strong word. It's, it's a weird one. Oh, man. This is, this is a really, really painful... Think, yeah, making you discard two is kind of impressive. Another Biblos. Sure. Um, this comes when I have two in hand or one in hand? Uh, two in two or less in hand. Two or less in hand it is a dude. Okay. Uh, I would like to go to combat. Sure. On the stack of cracking the goblin, I think I have to animate Krista. Sure. Because so otherwise you're going to have three in hand. <laughs> get the drop. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah. How badly do you want to throw away three goblins? I think if I can get them off the field, then I can change the rules of the game back so that your, your Brynhilders are now weaker cards and stuff like that. But mm, Am I happy enough to select this? It forced that. Yeah. We'll pass there. Oh, spicy. No, it's not worth the goblins. I think the goblins have better targets from what I've seen. Yeah, okay, like, seeing what I just drew, I kind of agree now, yeah. Yeah, like, as well, Krista is a named, so you're not going to play three of them. Warp away a priest to kill lock. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm getting a really intense burst of deja vu. I feel like I've done this recently. <laughs> hmm. I think I just dream about FFTCG too much. And you've got too many in hand, so Krista can't do anything. Pass there. I like Krista in this deck because it's a sticky forward, and in my early version of the deck I just kind of glossed over it. I thought there were too many mandatory slots that I couldn't play Krista, and uh, yeah, that's not true at all. Hmm. Go on, Miss Dragon me. Edgar. 
Hmm. We would like. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And. Do we? We're in six in hand. Five in hand? Six in hand? Five and five. Hands. Can't tell with those sleeves. Yeah, uh, and optical illusion. Theoretically, Sabin, Sabin can come in for one CP and just do things. I don't hate it. I know, but well, um, I can't give it haste. Yeah, I think I think it would be bad and expensive to give it haste. Yeah. Um, we'll just pass there for now. Five in hand, yeah. Five in hand. Quite happy with those five. Hmm. And a fireless with a one fire backup open. You know, it's the classics. <laughs> Do I object to things? Who knows? You have to find out next time. Sure I will. <laughs> um, let's do a bunch for Robel and pay a crystal. Mm. Uh, target being Edgar, of course. Resolves. I'm not a big fan of uh, killing a goblin. <laughs> Probably just a pass there. I mean, Krista can't attack. I don't think I need to be attacking you anytime soon. I really, really want to play that. I really want to play that. This is for the camera. But while there's so many goblins there, I feel like that's a very expensive play on my part that will do nothing. You know, all it does is say kill three goblins on entry. And I would rather do more. I would rather do more than that. I want to see if maybe Robel recurring me CP every turn is an excuse to get rid of some goblins instead. And at that point, I'll be a happier person. Yeah, we'll go for a discard, card please. name lock. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I just don't see the first orphan. This is orphan I've been talking about. I don't want to play orphan for five when you can sort of yeah, no, I, three CP get rid of it. it. Kind of feels like less than that because each of the goblins drew you a card, including the last one. So yeah, yeah, no, I can appreciate I'm just not that. able to pressure you adequately. Um, sadly, uh, I kind of don't want to get rid of that, but I think I do. Uh, we'll drop Bahamut for Princess. Fail to, fail to start. Yeah, I, I just don't like playing light cards. I'm, I'm not convinced that there is any light card that is just such a universal, I will play this in any deck at the moment. Sh Shinri is alright in the right room, and Lightning's a pretty good card in the right deck, but the, the, there are so few universally good cards. I feel like Princess Goblin would see a little bit more use and more like yeah. if you can search for Kadaj or something and you get a dull freeze from the Prish coming in which is pretty good um, pretty good <laughs> I will go for goblins on your Robel okay and pass okay. there see that's a sad one now because uh, I discarded Orphan on the premise that you wouldn't do that <laughs> uh, alright um, draw for turn draw for turn may my Prish there's, enter there's the field there's potential there uh, Prish you, you, don't, you don't want to fundamentally ammy the trigger yeah come on yep. okay we will dull and freeze luck and I think we'll dull and freeze Setzer yeah it's that or Interceptor but Setzer kind of says more to be right now Hmm. And that's one, two, three, four in hand. Okay. I've kept my hand size, which is quite impressive. Mostly because you amied the right thing and I didn't get a skill toad. I do play more than one skill toad because I think it's a very warping yes. card. It changes the rules of the game in a major way. No, absolutely. Hold dull frozen lock. Am I that afraid of that? I think while the pressure is fairly low, it is correct for me to do crack the knight dull lock for reasons and then do two for Unaleska. Just get her in so that I can start doing stuff. Yes. And, and that is like an uncounterable way of affecting your hand size, whereas you can remove my orphans, you can remove my skill toads, sort of, so. I appreciate that. Uh, but I appreciate that. <laughs> that pun never gets old. Never, ever. Well, let's do something cool, kids. No. I forbid it. You think you have a choice? <laughs> what game do you think we're playing? Discard a lightning card for Yuri Anger or bring back a goblin. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we would like to discard five fire cards. One, two, three, 
four, five. It's like anything that you can't recur. Yeah. Like, I, I've put Ace a couple of times into non mono fire decks, and he's a really powerful card, but I just hate when I see him early and don't have uh, five cards yet. I would like to go to combat. Sure, yeah. It's a classic. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect to see that card sleeved up in a fair deck in 2023. But it resolves, you know. I would like to attack and do many numbers. Many numbers. Okay. First point of damage on the game, let's go! Make my Biblos life. Uh, okay. And with that, we'll pass there. Uh, keeping track of your hand size. Many! Still four. Five. Five? Elias. Have you considered not? <laughs> have you considered? <laughs> Please. Yeah, I, for mid to late game, I'm going to have so much fire sitting there. Recursion, goblins give haste, Elias. I think the fear of it, and yeah, it's, such an e it's such an easy S to have as well, of just double shots. Scary card. You know, you now have to answer this threat, but theoretically, high discard. Lock as well, you know. Edgar's, uh, Sabin's. Good boy. And it's up with your uh, wonderful um, Pegaton Rangers. Nice, actually. Bay of Crystal. I would very much like Robel to bonk Ace with his hammer. Mm. Just do a quick Ami count because uh, it's a card. Yeah, I've only seen one objection. You've got one, Fe one copy of Phoenix, right? Yeah. They are really, really good. Like foils as well. Wow. Yeah. I'd be happy if I opened one of them in my box. <laughs> hmm. I'm not really sure what my win con is here. I'm not sure how I spring back into this game, if at all, but... It's been a very civilised game, for sure. I'm going to warp another priest right? and kill another lock. Yes. Understandable, have a nice day. As much as I could just hard cast the priest, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'll pass there. I can see the benefits of both. Uh, how many in hand? Two. Two. So then you go lock, and you haste him, and you special him, and you take away both my cards, and I become sad. You said it, not me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've got... Uh, I'm glad I checked. <laughs> That could have ended badly, kids. So one, two, three, four, five. Four, five, okay. Miss Dragon. Uh, nope. We'll get the classics. Um, Edgar and a lock, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, Sabin and yep. a lock. To see the Hecaton share goes means I will go for a discard, please. I'm quite upset at that. And we will go Sabin Dabin. Okay. Because we have many. Many. And we don't need to push for haste right now, but I would like to do 8,000 of my finest uh, aura cannons. Damage, yeah, okay. And pass there. Where are my skill points, man? All right, that's really, really bad. Uh, Locke being able to just snipe my hand. Need some removal pretty badly. Can I do that? Could I do... Oh, it's, it's so bad. I'm, I don't think I'll even really extend it there, because in the grand scheme of things, I didn't pay that much. I, think I, I paid one guest stallion for three forwards. I think I just lose the game if Locke and Sabin live. So as much as this looks expensive, I think I have to do it. Oh, show me Titan. <laughs> yeah, I wish. That's the thing, I've seen so few Amaterasu's that if I Titan or if I Shantoto, Shantoto would be actually worse in this case. Yes, you, you're having lack of skill tools definitely been in my favour. It's not that I even lacked it, I just chose to get really cute with the way I was going to get yes. it onto the field. And I thought that if I played Krista first, maybe I could just scout for Amaterasu or make mm. you do panic things, but it was not enough in this case. Mm. Uh, Garnet, target Hecatonkir. Uh, understandable. Yes, resolves. And then I'm just going to pay five for the Hecatonk here, which in reality is paying millions and millions of CP. Mm. It's, it's really, really ugly. And, uh, and cast some hand chakra. No, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, yeah, th th there's a lot of ways there. Like if you had Amid the Garnet, you know, there's a lot of ways that the game is just over. Uh, none in the hand. Nothing in the hand. Pass there. See if Prish can do some things. Hmm. I just don't think you're ever going to have a turn off ever again. The, the goblins, I'm pleasantly surprised at the goblins. I would like to find a um, 
Block, please. Sorry. Block? Again. Wow. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, damage three. He's three right now. Um, one, two, three. Get out the lock and all that. It's another target for Edgar. And yeah, uh, damage three is insane. Is he free? Uh, if I played uh, oh, if, you, if, 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 if I played if, lock. If you slam the lock or something like that, yeah. Okay. But there's no need to slam it right now uh, because you've got nothing in hand. So I think I'd rather just do point of damage and yep, yeah, uh, go to combat. Interceptor for haste. Yeah, okay. And we'll hit you for one. Fair and balanced. And many in hand, one up. Five in hand. Yeah, it's a, a weirdly just seeing things like Celis has her strike as well. It's kind of scary because you know the first strike. Oh uh, yeah, for, for striking whole party as well sometimes. You know, you can get some very interesting combos, but it is very much win more, and it, you have to not be ahead, but your backups have to be right. Yeah, I think we'll do. Uh, Preach would like to warp onto the field. Resolves. Once again, I think we'll snipe your Setzer and Celeste. I've got to stop those parties if I can. And then I think we'll do four for Une. Mm. And what summons do I actually have in here? I've got to make them cheaper somehow. Got a Leviathan as well. I think Leviathan and Kuseth. It's too important for me to be able to recur that heck. Uh, Une on entry. Do I really want to bounce the Celeste? We'll bounce the Interceptor. And I honestly think I might just leave it at that. I don't hate it. One in hand? One in hand. And there's a real temptation to just toss it away into Unileska, but I think that moving you from a five card hand, you know, before the Une, from a five card hand down to a four card hand, mm. that doesn't really change anything. Unileska is for taking away the last card, and the last card is always the most powerful. You know? Assuming your opponent is prioritizing well. One. Sadly. Three. Okay. Uh, Shunt potato. I think that knowing that Locke was in hand, I probably should have just Unilesked that away. Mm. I'll need a crystal to delete this. Oh, yeah, delete the, the Une. Yeah, sure. And th that's not a Bahamut that removes from game, no? Um, Who is that? It's not. Uh, I think it's the Une Mikmol. I have no idea what that says. <laughs> Michael needs to work at his handwriting. And. That doesn't do it on attacks, that's just... Just a whenever. tricky 9k, yeah. Um, I would love to get my Interceptor back down, but I think for now I'm just going to have to pass. I've got too many in hand, and yeah. I think the fear of five is hand is You and your too many in hand. Uh, I think I've just played really, really badly here. Like, discarding my Biblos in an aggressive deck. That would give so much more text to Unileska mm. if I could use it to prevent points of damage. Well, the biggest thing is you have seen two Edgars go, which is... You've dealt with them extremely well. But I think no Celis living Remains is very scary. <laughs> no. The theoretically dulling two of your backups is, could be kind of crippling. Two for the Mobius. Sounds fun. I think I will just go for a discard. Like, th there's no way that the Fenrir is useful here. I don't see you playing any Fire Ice cards. Susano, hmm, okay. It was tempting, but, yeah, pass there. Okay. Hmm. I'm kind of glad you didn't play the Interceptor back down. Sure. Yes and no, yeah, I, I could absolutely see both. One. As much as I would love to play you, I just think, yeah, I need to, unfortunately do that. Oh, uh, G said, yeah, okay. And you should be in here. Mm, can't be a good Edgar. I've seen two Edgar so far, right? Yes, this is the last one. It's the last one on less Celeste party attacks to get one back, and I have seen that before just because it does give you, like, infinite forwards, but... How did you know my turn? Mm. Mm. Do I have a double salmon actually? No, I don't. Oh my it's just been that one salmon all day. But his value is too good. And. Pleasant card? Yes. 
Yes, yes, it is. Two P for that. I mean, yeah. So that has to come down. I agree. And yeah, if I had, oh, that would have been so good if I had it. For the service, <laughs> just to go, by the way, whoop, whoop. <laughs> you know. But I don't get nice things. Uh, choose one category, six forward, okay. It's not going to work in time. Uh, but I do dot freeze characters. Yep. I would like to move to combat. Yeah, sure. And we will attack with a. We'll attack with them, those two together, and we will get a walk. Look, huh? Mm. Yeah, we'll get a walk back to hand. Okay. From near. And then we'll main piece. Two, since I call came in, we'll just 8k this piece. I think I've probably seen enough. I don't think I can win from this position. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm not I'm not being that silly. I would love to have another seven, but yeah, I'll pass there. The Dice Skull said no. And I maybe I should have got maybe I got greedy there and should have went Edgar instead, just to have the infinite, the soft infinite, but Yeah, I kinda of prefer that. I, I, I like the idea of that because it means that if I wipe your board it just keeps coming back. The uh, even, you know, through a Shantoto or something you're you're gonna have things to recur. Mm. But I feel you kinda of had to do a now or never move on a two in hand. Uh, yeah. I'm probably happy just taking this to game two. Uh, it's not that the cards in my hand are by any means bad, but I shot myself in the foot by igno actively ignoring playing the scale toad like a normal person yeah. and being kind of obsessed. Favorite Amaru as well, just for infinite um, coming so back in the field. I had the Vassalis in hand there, but the other two Vassalis have gone and it wouldn't have an ETB because you had four in hand. Yep. And the, the other option was play Renoa. Renoa on Preach, prevent one damage yeah. by a dull something. That's not really going to do anything from this stage. No. Interesting though, very civilised, as I say, yeah, well, we, sure. both, we both set up quite well, I think you you would have liked to have seen it earlier, Une, I think, to disrupt, uh, or maybe... I would, or like to, I would like to not toad. be a moron and actually play the Steel Toad, <laughs> that, that's a yes. much bigger deal because then Une is really crippling, Une, yes. Une is very crippling, twinned with discard when there's a Steel Toad down, it's, yep. uh, it becomes a bit more of a checkmate, and none of my checkmate stuff was ever live. The Goblins were spooky as well, Goblins meant that uh, I was kind of afraid to play Orphan as well, so mm. I, I turned down too many of my continuous discards there and uh, hopefully learn something out of it. That's all uh, good. You, you have first mm. and I would love to keep that but it's missing a key component. I honestly think I could keep this just on the strength of that card alone but I'll, I'll wing it that I can do better. I'm going second as well. I will happily take that. Best of luck. Andy, Andy. Okay, uh, YYT, YYT for, for Unileska and I'll pass there. Seeing the Unileska a little bit earlier is better for me because it means that there are more opportunities that I can prey on you ever leaving yourself with a low hand size. It doesn't can't, get an awful lot smoother than that, does it? Can't ask for more, I'll pass there. So I could do a three backup thing here, but. Mm, I think I get a lot more out of doing... Yeah, the Fenrir really doesn't do anything here other than discard for Earth TP. Probably can come back out of the deck. I think I would quite like... Skill Toad. Mm. This is when you sideboard in the Wind Fire Zidane and take it out of my hand before it becomes a problem. <laughs> you Phoenix it in, that's what you do. Absolutely. Anything else? Nah, nah, it's okay. There was a real temptation to search for a water card for that. Um, but I did not. This is a problem I will confront on a later turn. Goblin Chan? Goblin, Goblin. Yeah, sure. So it's good. I'm looking for Princess Goblin. Yeah, sure. And we will be playing Princess Gobu, and then I think passing turn after that. 
Uh, there you go. No squalls allowed. Uh, all good? Yes. Okay. I kind of want to keep that. I kind of want to do a lot of things here. Hmm. Preach. And... I want to keep that. I really want to keep that. Preach on one for scale toad. Redia by paying one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Search for a summon. Yes. That's going to be. I would love to. Probably have, the same I would love to have an amateur Astro, I feel, but. For that? Wow. It's, such, it's so much disruption, I think. And I'm actually going to chuck away the Yuna mm. for the Oracle. Sure. You gain one crystal. I do gain a uh, beautiful wind crystal. There we go. Very fast start. Very uh, fast just there. Yeah, I, I think that Rydia really helps the deck in that regard. Uh, it's, it's it's very very sweet that the archetype that was the slowest but had the least engines now doesn't have to just play 18 or 19 backups to stand a chance because I, I hate doing that. There is no merit yeah. that, sir. Okay. Uh, goblin will get Goblin. Uh, I will get Goblin to get Goblin. Fair, uh, okay. A million Goblins. Okay. One million Goblins. So I'll get that one and I'll get that one on the field from there. Discard. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll use that one from there. If you would like. And I'm about to lose one to discard. Uh, it's either that or play out your whole hand, basically. And I, 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 unless it was already a good idea to play out your whole hand, don't do it. You know. We'll discard the walking past turn. Okay, that is something that I'm a little bit afraid of because it would be live and it could have haste next turn. So it does it does make a fella ponder. Okay, what can I do here? Two for a knight. Get another crystal. Sure. A beautiful one from earlier on. I think. Hmm. I will just pass there. It is nerve wracking to know that if you have another lock, I just lose two cards. And that's not quite cricket, you know? Yes. Skill Toad is going to make it hard for your hand size to increase at any point. Like, this is the most you will ever be allowed in hand. So, just see what happens, I suppose. Uh, Miss Dragon. Nope, no Miss Dragon. No Miss Dragon. I don't actually play it in this deck. I think it is a really hard card to sit behind reactively when you also want to be, you know, that's going quite proactively. So. Uh, I can appreciate that. Just one of those things. Uh, lock for a discard. Robile only kills one forward, and I kind of want rid of two. What can I say? Second Goblin Chan. <laughs> okay, if you insist. Uh, go to combat. Yep. Do the thing. Draw a card. Do the thing. Hmm. And of course, Mirage Dive for giggles. Mirage Dive for giggles, yeah, yeah. Top two strat. <laughs> Oh, you have to take a damage first, because maybe that'll add yes. a card to my hand. Uh, it does not, it's just Aerobius. Uh, discard. You'll have to discard one at end of turn anyway, or play out your whole hand. Correct. So... <coughs> hmm. I think we'll discard Heck. Mm. That is interesting. Um, two or less in hand. Do you know what? Just Two or less, sorry? Yeah, two or less for skill told. Um, two or more. Two or more, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I will do something. I maybe shouldn't do because you only have one in hand because it could be funny. Uh, I will like to play Mog 1, 2, 3, 4 for free. Yeah, sure, sure. And then we'll drop... Save it for Shantoto to take back one, and that'll leave you on one in hand. The card to to float into next turn. And we will. Mm, yeah, let's go with. <laughs> or do I want spot removal? Uh, no, I can get spot removal back with Terra, and it works more for the counters. Yep, yeah, sure. From Shantoto, that. you mean? Yes. Well, Shantoto wouldn't be able to take back Bahamut anyway. Yes, someone. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was running it in my head, being like, how was best? 
The Celeste was quite nice, but yeah, if you've got a Hecaton share here, I may be overextended, but... Shantotto, uh, Crack Knight, the Luck, and then I'll just play the top, discarding everything. Mm. Four RFGs. Nice. And the removal from game is going to be important because it means that your subsequent Edgars are a little bit weaker. So. Correct. Nah. On, on... <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> oh, right, okay. Now, now you draw the Amaterasu. Now we draw the Amaterasu. Well, now you have a review of Amaterasu. And okay. then we will discard the Amaterasu for the scale to That's a nice 4CP evoker you just played. As I say, overextended, but I think I had to. Scale to kind of forced that line. And you've got how many in hand? One. You can start, you know, escaling and being a bully. I think it's smoothest if I do this. Mm. Do I have your card or your three goblins? Mm. That is the question. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, that's there, I suppose. Wouldn't mind top decking another Robel. Robel or Kusif, probably. Ugh, why are you like this? <laughs> uh, or, the, 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 the Oracle isn't that amazing, oh. but it's just the fact it's CP, you know? It's CP that I can just toss into Unileska this coming turn. We'll pay the one. The one? Uh, so I'd. Oh, right. I thought, yeah, okay, okay. I, th I thought you meant you were casting Belias. No, 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 no. Okay. I'll just do some damage. Some damage. And uh, one in hand, pass there. Lark had no targets. Not to say I'm happy at it, but... It's one of these things, we're in top deck war now. One in hand, you've got an active lock. And you've got, you've got two, one crystal? Or two crystals. Two crystals. Two crystals. Two crystals. So, Robel here. Well, I've got one. Ah. I double drew Amaterasu. I was like... Splitting your art, Amaterasu. What yeah. works? What's going on there? I think I'll just pass there. See what happens. Unless, if you have another Belias, you have another Belias. If you're that good at the game, you, you you get to be that good at the game. I'm always that good at the game. Uh, one in hand. We do not know what it is. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So we can do that. Super, super aggressive. Three, one, four. No, that won't work. So uh, I would like to go to combat. Okay. We would like to try. Screaming. Lock special. Lock special. Damage three, the Biblos animator, lose a heck. Mm. I was debating the heck versus the Krista on the previous turn. Uh, I could have done heck on your Terra and then toss away the Krista for your Aleska, but I figured that having a body on the field was better than popping your Terra. Oh, okay. We would like to go shopping. Uh, I'm not going to lie, the lock is super tempting just to be <laughs> instantly okay. threatening it, so you have to basically use your Aleska. Celis won't really do much, and I can't play anything else. I could get one goblin out. That, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in a weird kind Weirdly. of way. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of rate that. I don't hit it. I'll pass there. I was trying to see if I could cheat in Celis, give it haste as well on that turn, and then party get back something, you know, but it was getting too complicated. Too many interactions, sometimes you've got to go a bit more simple. Oh boy, that's a bunch of monsters. Trust loss. Uh, anything else good, sir? I don't think so. I don't think so. I wouldn't have done that if you'd gotten back the squall. Put it that way. Like, I, I appreciate that I'm now really vulnerable to a squall situation, but... Um, Edgar, take back a couple. Okay. You're in one, two... Okay, so you, you can play the sab. I absolutely am. The dabbing sabbing. All right. The big dabbing sabbing. Uh, we would like to go to combat. Uh, we will attack with um, Shan Tuttle first. It's kind of spooky because like Edgar now means that you can just nuke into Sabin if I ever animate anything. Uh, so these can these, attack. these two cannot attack. These two can attack, and you know I got black block. Yeah, yeah. So just assume okay. that's happening. 
That's when I think I'd probably end up going to damage five here. Yeah. Um, we will goblin haste the Sabin. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we would like to attack the Sabin. <laughs> okay. No, no, no fun police call, Steve. <laughs> Anti E Express. And yeah, we will attack with Lock. Uh, when you try activating, I can then do the S if need be. You can do a great many different S's here. Hmm. I literally think I just lose stuff if I don't do stuff. So. <laughs> Damage next it is. Hmm. Okay. Uh, main phase two. We will yeah, okay. do some chakra. Activate them. And we will in turn discard four skill tools. On discard, bib loss, dull, and free Shantoto. I understand. We'll have a nice day. Unfortunately, this is where you need the Sabin specials. Like, just in hand, just to start <laughs> eating the monsters. But trust, Rather, yeah. trust, you never want, trust you never want me to... Um, uh, to bounce any of this back to my hand. And well, it, I, I, I sort of do if it stops. Um, yeah. And if you try making me discard, I can just do the walk special on the swap in response to have any none in hand, so you are not getting your bit of trigger. I'm sure there is a smart way around this. But this deck very much lives and dies in this. I felt Ace with Haste kind of gives you that other ult. It gives you another big brick. Chrysalis, let's dull and freeze. Sabin. Dabin Sabin. <laughs> Move to combat. Mm -hmm. I think Sabin was maybe the wrong pick there. Mm. He can't activate himself. That's kind of what I was thinking. It does make it a little bit harder to attack here. I'll attack on Tross and bounce the lock back to your hand. Ah. Uh, so I have to do the lock special no, or I'll get Bibble still frozen down. You can't get a kill with Shaq for um... Yeah, well, lock special. Oh, I still have one in hand from a bibble, so yeah. Um, jerk. Drop from and the cross. You are big, so I will take a damage and hit that word EX. Ooh. Bit of a dead card um, right now, unless I got haste. Animate Biblos, attack on Biblos. So that will cause a discard. One discard, yeah. You may get to. And then when you discard, Dull and Freeze Edgar as well. Mm hmm. And I will take a point of damage. Ooh, little ass. Oh, okay, interesting. It gets out of Cheeky Squall. Um, other yeah, I think threats. that would actually have been pretty good just now. I definitely don't want to attack on Crystal or Fasalis. I want to make you have to really, really work to find a lethal here yeah. off of Zero Horbert. So I'll pass there. One, two in hand. I know neither. Hmm. That could be really good next turn. There, there, there are options next turn for this, but right now... It's a case of can I stabilize? You knew Scarred, I had it. Huh? And do I, do I not just win by going Edgar S with the Haste Interceptor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that would do. Uh, That's all, folks. Turn to Edgar is really, really good. If, if you don't have like a summon speed play, and that, that is the thing, this is a deck that does not do the whole summon thing very well. Um, a lot of my summons that are interactive, like the 5 CP Hegadon here, is limited to my turn only. So Edgar Lock, Edgar Sabin just kind of does get a free reign. I really needed to see Leviathan, but yes. that is a bad card during 
your turn as well because it's never going to cost zero. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, well played through the pressure of a skill and stuff like that. What can I say? I think there is some life in Fire SF6. Yeah, thank you for joining us. And, uh, yeah. I like the goblins. Later. Honestly, the, 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 the goblins are like among the best things you can do in Fire at the moment, I think. And, uh, it stabilised my backups very really quickly. I tried to stress that in the deck tech talk I did recently is that goblins are good. It's kind of yeah. it, really. No, there's definitely some changes I would like to make. Uh, some cards that aren't performing as well, but I think um, secret, secret Ace with Haste is actually a very scary concept. Are you on one Ace, two Ace? Three Ace. Three Ace? Wow. Okay. I, know, I feel I, like I, I just didn't really see them all that uh, much. But. Is it Three Ace again? Yeah, we've got the set. And what's a very ways? Um, two Goblin Haste. Sorry, I, could, I should do a proper deck. How many ways can I give haste? Four ways of giving haste, plus it, interceptor. Haste with haste? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, four years after the first on the ace. But, but yeah. yeah, some good stuff. Good stuff. I like it. Yeah. Big, big fan. And also bug haste. <laughs> Natural haste. Thank you very much for watching, everyone.